Abba Yahuwah, say my secret cry. Answer my secret prayer. Wipe my secret tears. In your mighty name, please release Yahushua Hamashiach, the forever greatest miracle I ever longed for. And you knew that it is the most powerful miracle I ever longed for. Release him now. In your mighty name, it is a miracle. He is the healing I ever, ever desire, long for, dreamed about. In your mighty name. Amen. Horobosi Kayaba. Greetings to the 30 tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth and to the Gentiles called by the ox of fairy name of Abba Yahuwah. Allow him. This is the awesome fairy name that is above every other name. Allah, Yahuwah is above. Pork Jesus, Yahuwah is above. It is simply Yahuwah. It is simply the name is Yahuwah. The name that binds all righteousness is simply Yahuwah. The name that put together eternal holiness it is simply yahuwah the name that stood for eternal renovation you know glorified body fat that's going to fix fix all things it is yahuwah not jesus jesus cannot fix nothing not even allah these are they that destroy the earth and they will be destroyed these are they that brings about Iniquity that ushers in eternal link of fire and they will be destroyed. Yes, they will be destroyed. I love you so much, Abba Yahuwah. Thank you so much. 
All right, now, family, we want to do what we are here again today in His presence in this holy set apart Shabbat. We want to look into the mind of Abba Yehovah prior to what we began already a few days ago. I want to look into another aspect of this very segment, though some brothers, yeah, it was about three or four of them, you know, that sent me almost the same message. They really want to know devil legal right because the one I did a few days ago, I only brief it devil legal right. And one also asked me, yes, it was about four of them, but three were really after this legal right, legal right, legal right. I don't know why men really pick interest in this segment. I didn't see no sister and uh, you know, even throw one in question. Oh, for we are just men, mm, the kingdom is moving. Man is the is the head of the house. Man want to pull you know their home in order. Man want to build. Though women should also be there, you know, to support. Four men, four questions, but they are all male. No female, not even one. Mm, that, that, that is mad, bold. Does that mean my gender don't even care about the truth, or does that really mean only male? Uh, you know, the male listen to this message. Anyways, I don't know, seeing that I'm not doing live video, so I don't know who is who. But to my amazement, these four questions that pump up in my inbox are all male, not even one female. Anyways, so one brother asks a different a different question, okay? I'm going to be treating that one apart from this. So that one could be next week Shabbat, if not next week Shabbat. If not next week Shabbat, it will be next two weeks Shabbat. So, I want to uh, dig into this very legal, devil legal right over you or over humanity. Because three indeed asked for this very one. So, that is why I said, okay, uh, first of all, I have to do this one because majority always win the vote. Three insisted and said, ah, please, can you go more in detail? I want to hear, I want to hear more. You know, I want to see more scripture about this devil legal right because the other one I just, you know, brief it, okay? I didn't take it as, as a title. I just look into it briefly, then I, I pack off until this very family begin to, you know, say, please, can you go more deeper in this very leg devil legal right? And then how to overcome. Yes, the other brother said that, uh, yeah, um, how to uh, overcome as you... I didn't brief it. I should go. He said I didn't dig into how to divorce this devil because he said I mentioned three witnesses. So please, can you, you know, tell more about those uh, three witnesses that one needs, you know, to divorce this spiritual wife or spiritual husband? I said, okay. So that one asks another thing. So if not next week Shabbat, it could be next week Shabbat for that one, how to divorce this uh Demo, so that should be the final one. If another question don't pop up, therefore I will go into. Uh, I think it should be the first time I'm putting out my personal lifestyle, you know, in details. So because this one is really eating me up indirectly, I don't think I'm. Maybe I'm gonna be doing it indirectly, okay? Or I can also go directly because it is what I'm facing right now. But I need to do it maybe indirectly. But it is what I'm going through now. Okay, so so that was why I said if we are not doing this, how to divorce Sita, you know, by these three witnesses from the royal law. If not this Shabbat, I will be doing that next week Shabbat. So that will do this very message that is eating me up. I want to pour out some pains. I want to release some heavy load in my heart through the mindset of the royal law. So maybe we'll be doing that. Yeah, this is the title. Most horrible, terrible, painful parts of life is giving birth to enemies as children. Mystery behind rebellious children. This one is really eating me up. It is simply my personal lifestyle. Yes, I need to talk about it also. So if this, if I'm not doing this one next Shabbat, then I will be doing the how to divorce this 
a bond of Satan. This so tight demon spiritual. How to divorce every last them? Okay. So today we are looking into the legal rights of Satan. All right. So let's do it now formally in this presence. Here we are in the heavenly courtroom of Abbe Yahuwah with this powerful message started for you and me. Devil legal right over you is seen. This says a dream. Your arts of pray, your art of worship and service to him. Ecclesiastic 10 verses 8. Should I rebroadcast? Devil legal right over you is sin. This says a dream. Your arts of worship and service to him. Ecclesiastic chapter 10 verses 8. So want to go more deeper like we know already. Try to always navigate us into scripture. So with this being said, let us begin to go into why we are here today again in this presence to just get our soul, spirit, and body filled with Abbe Yehovah's eternal divine breath. The royal law is this, the eternal breath of Abbe Yehovah, the very one that is remaking, that is renewing, that is rebirthing every single organ in us. I mean, the light. So let's present it now, family. Now we start walking our way from here. Second Timothy chapter 3 verses 16. All scripture is given by the inspiration of Yahuwah and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So it's really profitable for doctrine. So I want to look into the breath, another breath of Abbe Yahuwah. He said, all oh, scripture, not some part, all oh, scriptures, okay? It's good, you know, to look into all side, okay, of the royal law. So now we see that all scriptures, like NIV will say, all scriptures are the breath of Abbe Yehovah. So if Abbe Yehovah, uh, a word, instruction, direction, represent eternal breath in us, so we're also going to be looking into the opponent, okay, the very one we want to expose in another dimension. So let's quickly look into now, let me see the scripture first of all. We have read this already, 2 Timothy chapter, yes, 3.16, that all scriptures, according to NIV, said all scriptures are the breath of the living Yahuwah. It's good for doctrine, to reprove, to correct, to instruct, okay, in righteousness. So I want to do his opponent side, because if Abba Yahuwah have a wealth, which is the scripture, good news, okay, his enemy also, likewise, his enemy, okay? So, this, the words or instruction or teachings of the of his opponent also represent, come on now, breath of eternity. Mm -hmm. So, now we are doing John chapter 8. Mm, John chapter 8. Where am I? Yeah. John chapter 8, verses 44. This is 4 and 4. Now listen. We take it from here for the form. Now hear what Yahushua is saying. Why is my language not clear to you? Because ye are, ye are unable to hear what I say. He is asking the Pharisees, okay, they say the same, but they say, why is my language, my breath is not coming into you? It's not penetrated. Why? Yeah, he said, because you are unable to hear what I'm saying. Now, verses 4, look at what he said. You belong to your father, the devil, and, your, and, and you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer. That is his language, okay? And uh, Yeah, his breath. From the beginning, not hold it to the truth, for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his own native language. Come on now. When he lies, he will just enter into his own native language, for he is a liar and father of all liars. So now, this is his breath. Unfortunately, 92% 92, 92, 92 of what population has taken in this breath. If someone is one to lie, that is his instruction, he will just enter his, into his own native language. And when he enter, when he begin to speak his own native language, his people is going to be understanding him. And when Yahushua is also speaking his own language, his children cannot understand him. Okay? So let's see, put some more. So what we are doing now, we are just pre I'm preparing the ground. This, you know, prep. I'm prepping it. I'm just prepping, prepping the ground, okay? For a better understanding. Now, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 22, 
no, rather 21 and 22. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good, abstain from all appearance of evil. Yes, this is the word of Abbe Yewa for you and I. We prepped the ground already, so we want to go now into or want to go deeper why we are here today. So you should prove all things. Now that you see Abbe Yewa have his own language, which is the breath of eternity, the scriptures, okay? When he speaks, that is his voice, the word, the language. He spoke unto us. So it's his word. Now we also see his op op opponent. His opponent also said, I'm going to make myself, I'm going to make myself like the most star. He also have his own native language, okay? That when he speak that native language, his people also will understand himself because he's a father and father of all liars, okay? Now, let's get deeper. We prepped the ground already. So now the royal law, right from Genesis chapter 1, the royal law is a sex, sexual activity. Let me, can I put it that way? It's like sexual activity, not sexual activity. It's like unto sexual activity. Now, what do I mean? That the royal law is like unto sexual activities. Yes, this is why I said that. You know, the royal law. Like a, look, let me, I'm going to be using a man as an illustration. The Genesis, the beginning, beginning, or the beginning, beginning, the gene of Abba Yahuwah. The beginning, so in the beginning, what is, what, what begin in the beginning? In the beginning, beginning, the gene of Abba Yahuwah. Now, Abba Yahuwah started with just two men, uh, excuse me, with just two soul, a man and a woman, male and female. And from there, how many are we today on earth? Over 8 billion, Okay. Now, in like one of the royal law, okay, in the beginning, beginning, the gene of Abba Yahuwah, when you begin to study the royal law, like a husband, you know, will come upon his wife, he will drop in something. And then, eventually, whatever he dropped in a womb is going to turn to a, a child, male or female. And afterwards, nine months, you, we're going to see what they were, you know, you know, walking towards, all this why or all this time okay it could be a male or a female so a man knew his wife he planted in something in like manner when you begin to take in the word of Abba Yahuwah regardless how filthy you once were or yes how filthy you once or you know was when you begin to study the royal law it's going to be remove all those things away from you it's going to be putting new lifestyle in you it we're going to be seen you know okay now like this now Everybody is going to be seeing that you are not born again. Oh, he's a new creature. Why? Because of what they saw in you, the new lifestyle they seen in you. Like, a, you know, husband and wife, you know, they multiply. The royal law is sex. And the royal law is, uh, 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 is po um, procreation. And the royal law, it is simply multiplication. When you go to Genesis chapter 5, you're going to see the gene over there. This one begat this one. The other one begat that one. The other one begat that one. That is what the royal law actually is. You were once like this. Okay, now you are like this. It's going to be renovated. It's going to be changing things in you. Just like sex is renovated, changing, you know, the, the woman, you know, uh, inside of the woman. It changes a lot of things. Sex do a lot of job inside the woman in like manner the royal law okay change everything about you okay for good okay we know sex also changed the lifestyle of a woman for good not the pervert one husband and wife precise a single man is going to become eventually a father a single woman is going to become eventually a mother so that is what we are saying that is the you know that is how far i can illustrate it Says uh, the royal law is sex, procreation, multiplication, and fruitfulness. Okay, that is what is said in the uh, what is it? Uh, Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2 said, We should renew our mind, you know, our mindset should be renewed every now and then through the eyes of the royal law. As technology is renewed every aspect of our life, in like manner, the royal law should be renewing everything that is sex is changing your life. You know, for good, for better, you know, for greater tomorrow. So that's what the royal Lord does. 
Now, the opponent, take it down now to the opponent. When it's also teaching you this kind of ways, it's all native language. It's going to be renovated. It's going to be binding you. It's going to make you so tired with him. Okay? So, we get deeper. I quickly want to illustrate that. That is what the royal law is. So, now, let's put it now. Where, where, where is the other part? Genesis chapter 1. Okay. The royal law is sex. Chi. Procreation. Okay. Yeah, fruitfulness. Now, Genesis 5, I quoted that already. Well, you also read Genesis, okay. Uh, Genesis 4, 3. Genesis chapter 4, you're also going to see another gene over there. And Genesis 3, we also see, okay, I'm going to be ready that, what the royal law does. Let me quickly read this one. So before we now shift into another dimension of this wonderful segment to expose the, the, the hiding place of demons, okay. Now, listen. Genesis chapter 3, verses 15. And I will put enmity between thee and her and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Now you see, there is a seed of the woman. We know the woman don't have a seed, it's simply the seed of Abbey Yawa, the DNA, the gene. Of Abayawa to procreate. And we also see the serpent also have a gene and he have a seed, it's also going to procreate. Okay. Now, for that of Abayawa is supernatural. He don't need sex to do that. But for that of the devil, he simply needs sex because according to the book of Enoch said, he have turned himself and begin to behave himself like men of the earth do. They said he lost after woman, just like the men of the earth also lost after woman. Because he have changed his ori orientation, he, he has already disoriented from who he once well, VF now put on or took upon himself the characteristics of man. And we see angel always come as man. Yahushua was once angel came as man. We see angels in the royal law always took 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 the form of a man and to counteract and relate with us. Okay, but not sexually. But the the one the fallen one, of course, they are doing it sexually. We see that in Genesis chapter six. I, I don't like people quoting that and say it is Seth, the sons of the the sons of God is is the children of Seth. Who are you turning the scripture upside down? Since when? Ma and woman procreated became a sin. Since when? Well, is that not the in fact original plan of Abbe Yawa that my husband should go into his wife, you know, to procreate? He said, feel the multiply, feel the old earth. Isn't that what he said? That is the call of Abbe Yawa. How dare you say the sons of Seth is the one that married the daughters? Of, are, are you mad? Why turn the Bible upside down? Why turn it upside down? Get out. That is the teaching of the devil. And this is how he's having sex with all of you. Now listen. We have quickly done that. So I want to shift into another dimension. Okay. Okay, first John. Okay, first John chapter 3, verses 8 through 12. I will quickly read this one. So we see already the woman having seed, which is the seed of Abba Yehovah, the gene of Abba Yehovah, the DNA of Abba Yehovah. And we also say Satan himself have Gee, sperm, sperm, he have, believe it or not. Maybe you will see it that day on the judgment throne. But by day, the knowledge is going to be so useless to you. It has no meaning any longer. Because if you can know it now, you utilize it, it's going to be of a cleansing effort in you. All right, now, First John chapter 3, verses 7 through 12. Little children, let no man deceive you. He... That doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Eight. He that commits sin, sin simply me breaking the royal law, okay? He that commits sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For there is, for, for this purpose, the son of Yahweh was manifest, the seed of Yahweh was manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of Yahuwah do not commit sin. If you are born of Yahuwah, you don't break the royal law, you know. Uh, you, you can't glory in breaking the royal law. For his seed, listener, for his seed remain in him. And he cannot sin because he is born of Yahuwah. 10. 
In this, the children of Yahweh are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever doeth not, doeth not righteousness, is not of Yahweh. Neither did he. Okay, neither he that loved the bro, the, the brother. Okay, now as came. Verses 12 said, Cain, who was, who was of that wicked one? Okay, oh, let me quickly read that one. He said, this is how we're going to know the seed of Yahweh and the seed of serpent, okay? Uh, Cain was the number one. Now listen, not as Cain, who was of that wicked one? It's a phrase of something that exists from the beginning, that wicked one. And slew his brother. And where first? Okay, okay, let's leave that. He killed his brother. Yes, the will of your father ye would do. Now we see already very, very clear that Yahweh have gene. Satan have gene. Mm -hmm. Abi is planting his own supernatural. He don't need to have sex with anybody before he can bring to pass what he wants. But devil, of course, because he don't have that ability. And that is what you are seeing in your vision. And that is what you are seeing in your dream. Now, what you are seeing in your vision, necessarily, devil is not giving it alone to the seed of Abbe Yehuwa because of our ignorance. He is doing it to everybody. Until you, be, you come into that knowledge of who you are, therefore you're going to divorce him, which is very, very important. The last question of the other brother, how to divorce him. So this one is, not, is going to lead us into how to divorce him, okay? We are not doing that today. So we are doing into his, we are just into his rights over you. Mm? We still put some more. So this is his legal rights. Like we see in Genesis 3.15, we also see another legal right over there that uh, a, 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 a serpent, that our um, Messiah is going to crush the head of the serpent, but serpent also authority is being given unto him to bite his heel. And this is how he's biting his heel. And the only reason why Yahweh did that, it is because serpent seed is also going to be here on earth. Okay? And he's going to be using them to fight. And they are the gods of the world. In fact, they are the one ruling. Okay? But somehow, Abba Yahweh is interrupting them, of course. Now, we read Ecclesi Ecclesiastic chapter 10, verses 8. Ecclesiastic chapter 10, verses 8. Listen now. He that did get a pit shall fall into it. Whosoever break an edge, a serpent shall bite him. This is simple legal right. What is the edge? That's what, 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 what was that? What is the worst of fire that surrounds you? What is the high mountain that surrounds you? Where are you hiding? Where do you hide? Do you hide under the feathers of Abbe Yehovah? Um, uh, Psalm chapter 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the monster shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Are you there? He said, but if you break out from that shadow, if you break out from the edge of fire that surrounds you, if you break out from the walls of fire that surrounds you, definitely something is going to bite you. He's going to put his own gene in you. He's going to pour out his part of him inside of you. If you dare break the edges, it is of, there is a spirit, this is legal right. When you break out from his from your own legal right, therefore he's gonna use his own legal right on you. Can I give you a clarity of the people that break out from the secret place of the most high? How this serpent used his own legal right against them? That is Genesis chapter 3, is the clear picture. Genesis chapter 3, read it all through. Genesis chapter 3. I think we're going to be touching on some city path over there. How they break out. How they break the edges. And serpent know his legal right over you. He's going to release it on you. And his, his legal right is not, it's not just that it gets you arrested. It's going to bind you. You're going to be so... That is, it's going to make you a so tired. He's going to bind you with himself sexually. It's going to come into you. It's going to release his poisonous on you. You're going to be one now with him. Because that is his wrath. Revelation chapter 12 verses 9. Simple legal right. Will not be where you break out of the place. You should have been hiding yourself. From his wrath. Therefore he's going to capture you. Revelation 12 9. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent. We are Genesis 3. Called the devil. 
and Satan which deceiveth the whole world, not some part, the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. His angel, this are they that you are seeing the vision that I've seen us because now he's over here with us. Genesis chapter 3 said, I be one make him more subtle, more crooked. In the midst of the guide, the guide today, it is simply the, is the world. And this devil is in our midst. He sit as a king. He sit as God. He sit as, uh, you know, uh, 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 yes, general overseer over all. He rules over all. That is what First Corinthians or Second Corinthians or First Corinthians chapter four verses four, or rather Second Corinthians chapter four verses four said he's the God of the world. He's the one ruler as we are talking now. He's over here. Him and all his demons. Okay, he's directing, he's teaching, bringing about new wisdom, new knowledge. But when he's teaching his people, speaking his own native language, and whereby you know who you are, you did not break no edges. The words of fire is still all over you. He cannot pollute, he cannot corrupt your gene. He cannot do that. We'll be doing that if not next week. The reason why he himself also called himself a husband is this in the royal law. It's corrupted the gene. The, the glory of sex is corrupting it. The glory of marriage is corrupting it. Yes, that is what he's doing. So let's see, go deeper. If you break the edge, are you breaking the edges? Are you in the secret place of the Most High Yahuwah? Is the west of fire surrounding you? If not, therefore, he has made you one with himself. So, tight demon. Sexually. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 15 and 16 make it so clear. Whosoever that join with high Lord become one body with the high Lord. For he says, the two shall become one. He is a husband. We will do that maybe next week. Now, he said that old serpent. He was a murderer right from the beginning. And when he now pour his nonsense inside of you, this is how he killed you. Contaminate. You know how a bite of snake is. Now Genesis 3, verses 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the feed which Yahuwah Elohim had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, had Yahuwah said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of every we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. These are normal tree. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall, she, shall ye touch it, lest ye die. So now it is something bite. Now, come on now. He said, as soon as they ate of the tree, from that tree, their eyes were, op were opened. And the woman saw that that tree is really good, uh, you know, to make one wiser. Come on now, people that say it's apple or fruit. So what fruit are you going to eat that is going to bring about seed? It will bring about wisdom. Okay. It's going to, you know, bring about wisdom. Okay. And when they also ate of these fruits, what happened? They were naked. That is sexually. And what also happened? That is where Abi what caused a woman reproductive organ, our womb. That is the blood flu we are seeing. The fluid of blood we are seeing every month. That is where it came from. And now, Immediately, he now said the seed of the man, and the seed of the woman, and the seed of serpent. So, how can you just eat ordinary fruits? How this sexual in the window will just be pumping up, pumping up because you ate fruits? Link of fire will pump up because you just ate fruits? You people should use your common wisdom. It is sexual intercourse. This is where the binder begins. Why? Because they break the edges. Therefore, legal right of the serpent, it is to make you so tired. It is to penetrate you. It is to pollute. It is to corrupt you. Because sex is going to make you one. Let me tell you, sex is spiritual. And marriage is spiritual. Sex is bigger than what you know. You don't even know the attributes and the, 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 the deeper insight of sex. If you indeed come closer okay, to the one that created sex, it's going to let you know what is sexual intercourse. It is forever greater than what you know. And that is the reason why. How can you say when they have sex, they're going to become one? Why should sex make you one? It is eternal covenant of oneness. You gave me, I give you. Okay, so when it comes to the marriage and how to divorce it, Satan will get deeper into this. 
So we see what sex is doing. And we see what the opponent is doing through sex. Okay. So where is it? Matthew chapter 7. Okay, quickly let us read here. Now listen, the one I did a few days ago, if you have time, you can listen to it. You're going to be seeing a lot of reaction from comment session. Not from me. A pastor that said they are also knocking him. It's this everywhere. Just type it. says dreams. You're going to see it everywhere. Whether you are born again, whether you are Muslim, whether you are Christian, you are idol worship, whatever, whatever you belong or you believe in, you have seen that sexual intercourse. A deity is having sex with you. And you, a man, you will be seeing yourself, you are having sex with a female. There is no female demon. When you go to Genesis chapter 6, you're going to see, oh, the children, the women uh, born unto the serpent or unto the folly deities, they were all male, no female. Giants. Goliath is the number one. And we have five of them in the Bible. They are giant. They have six fingers. And what the, what is that telling you? The mark of the beast. The bite of serpent. The soul tied them. That is the says dream. You're out of worship. You're out of service unto him. Just as a husband and wife is doing that holy service. In like manner, the folly deities is also doing that unto you. It's like I'm going ahead of myself. Because why? You break the edges. And that is his legal right. But when you, when you did not break the edges, that is your legal right. Whatever, whatever is trying to say this, is, you will say it is written. It is written. That is the only way out. Now we read Matthew. Okay, I'm going to be reading Matthew chapter 7, verses 30. This is the broad way. Enter ye in at the street gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction and many there be which go in there off he said many has already many is the victim of this says dreams everybody is testifying about one thing born again or not born again you see yourself you know you are knocking somebody or somebody is knocking you. You that is knocking or a man, you think you are knocking a woman. You are knocking the innocence of serpent. Because Revelation 12 verses 7 said or verses 5 said, By his tail, he drew the third part of angel into the earth. What is in the tail of a dragon or of, of, of animal? What is, what, is on, what is before the tail? It is simply their innocence. Uncleanness. He will use uncleanness to give you false hope. He will use uncleanness to give you because what? Like all these people that I said, like all Christian pastors, all of them is using uncleanness, you know, to give them false hope. These demons succeed in flowing down to part of all holy angels into the earth. They are the one we are calling demon today. They were they were once angels, holy angels, stars of God, sons of God, holy angels, sir. He said, "With his tail, we need. We know the tail of an uh, animal is always with their anus. He flew that thought part. He's using uncleanness to bind you with himself. You think you are having sexual intercourse with a woman? Not at all. You are bambanging the anus of serpent." And that is what the almost the entire world is seeing. If you're like I said in my first video, I prefer you seeing it in order for you to see how you can navigate your way out. When you see there is a problem in the house, it will be very much easier for you to fix it, to tackle it, to shut the loop up in your life. But when you just close your eyes, a you know, a blind eyes, you don't see nothing. Oh, that is utter darkness. That is complete darkness. You are already in the dark, you are not seeing nothing. That was why. He said the God of this world has blinded the eyes and the mind of men for them never to see the glorious light in the gospel we are preaching. Yes, it's the God of the world. Now we see, he said, broad is the way. He is the leader of this broad way. Revelation 12, 9 said he deceived the entire world. That is the broad way. And Revelation 17 verses 2 said he, 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 he get the entire world intoxicated with the wine of a fornication. He get the entire world drunk 
with the wine of her fornication. Let's go deeper. Now we see the broad wall already. Okay, let's read verses 21. That's in Matthew 7, verses 21. Not everyone that said unto me, I deny, I deny, shall enter into the kingdom of, of heaven. But he that do the will of my Father which is in heaven, 22, many will say unto me that day, I deny, I deny, have we not prophesied in thy name and have cast, uh, and and in thy name have cast out devils, <laughs> devil not cast out devils, okay? And in thy name do many wonderful works. And then I will prophesy unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. I never knew you. So who knew his wife? Like what I said, says uh, the royal is like kind of sexual intercourse. I never knew you. Let's see who knew somebody. Genesis 4 verses 1. And then, and Adam knew his wife. And she conceived. And he also said, I never knew you. I think John chapter 7, verses 38, it said, He that believed in him, out of his belly, a living water is going to be pumping out. A river of life is going to be pumping out from your belly. Now, Adam knew his wife. He put something in, his, in her belly. And Yahushua said, I never knew you. And they that knew, okay, he that knew those people, the one that knew them, put something in their womb. And... They now begin to prophesy prior to what he put in their womb. And they now begin to cast at themselves. And they now begin to do nonsense wonders to themselves. Did you just get that? Are you see the parallel of I never knew you? And Adam knew his wife? Something, a, a gene we had, we had dropped in our womb. And it said he that believed in the Holy Spirit. A, live, a river of living water is going to be pumping out. So what are we saying over here? So this is what we are saying over here. That Abba Yahuwah in his infinite mercy or power has the ability to relate with you without none, none of that nonsense because sexual intercourse is given to <coughs> man and woman, marriage, marital affair. But this devil lost it after that he is not giving it to you direct. This is what we are saying over here. That when you break the edges, it's going to penetrate you. That is his legal right. It's going to make you one with him. Because the royal law said the two shall become one through sex. Now, Romans chapter 6. This is what we are saying. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves, servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey. Whether of sin unto death, or of uh, obedience unto righteousness. Simple as that. We are talking about G. Genealogy. Genealogy. That's what we are saying over here. If you break the edges. And know yet that that is how you became the servant of serpents. And that is what you are seeing in your vision. Naki naki you. Somebody is having sexual intercourse with you because he wants you to procreate. Because he wanted to be fruitful. Because he wanted to multiply so unto him. He just wants you. That is how he bites you. He dropped his own nonsense inside of you. Now we shift into the final part of this very one. Because we have a few minutes to go. First Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. Now listen. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. Yahuwah was manifesting the flesh, justifying the spirit, see of angels, preached in unto the Gentiles, believed on the in uh, believed on in the world, received up into glory. That is Yahushua. Now listen. He said the God the the ungodly the un, the ungodly. Oh my father, the ungodly. He said mystery is simply. Their ungodliness. What is mystery? A, a thing that is hiding away. It's, a, it's reality, but it's hiding away from you. So, this, uh, he said their ungodliness, it is a mystery. Why mystery? Let us do the mystery of iniquity. So, their ungodliness is mystery. Mm -hmm. Now, listen again. Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity 
doeth already work. Only he who now let will let until he be taken out of the way. Holy Spirit now is the one that is still pushing it, pushing this mystery of iniquity away from me. He took that away from me. He's also doing it for my brother. He's also doing it for my sister. That is the elect, the camp of Israel, the chosen, the peculiar people, the very people after the mind of Abba Yahuwah. I say the very apple of Abba Yahuwah's eyes. We won't be deceived utterly if it were possible. Their iniquity is also mystery. Now, how is it mystery? See the people that is casting out devil, they are doing wonders, but in iniquity. This is the iniquity, this is the mystery, people. They are committing sin with a very clear heart. And say, yeah, we are doing the right thing. The mystery of iniquity. He says it's already at work. So, like I said, what is mystery? A reality that is hiding away from you. And how is this reality going on? It is simply the sex dream. You are seeing in your dream. Usually somebody is knock-knocking you. Somebody is having sexual intercourse with you. Who is he that is doing that to you? It is a mystery. And that is what we are unfolding over here. And why that? Because you break the edges. And that is his legal right to make you one with himself through sexual intercourse. That is what we are saying. The royal law should have been making you one with the Holy Spirit. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16. But in a very holy, you know, set apart way, because we are his people. But this demon, not so. He want to do exactly what the men of the world is doing. Papa Yawa Creator says, he is a food for a marital covenant. Not for anyhow. He shouldn't be taking anyhow. Let's say put some more. We are running out of time. So we see their godliness or godliness or godliness is mystery. We also see their iniquity is a mystery. And their name is also mystery. Yes, the mystery. Revelation chapter 17, verses 1 through 5. But I'm reading 5 for the sake of time. And upon our forehead was in them written mystery. Yeah, the mystery now. Babylon the Great, the mother of high lords, and abominations of the earth. Do you know abomination is a very strong word? When I buy Yahuwah spew out utterly a character, he said, this one, I won't pardon. This one, I cannot condone. This one, I won't tolerate. This one, I will sit in judgment from eternity unto eternity. This one, no way out but inside fire. This one, uh, 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 uh. I'm going to turn you into a wood. Uh, we used to set the link of fire. It's going to be burning unto eternity. That is the word, a taboo, abominations. And listen, there is abomination going on on this earth. So what is the abomination? He said this, it is an act of prostitute, high lot. High lot. So prostitution is going on, mystery, <laughs> fat. Okay, let me do verses two. And whom the king, okay, now one. And then came one of the seven angels who had the seven vows and talked with me saying, Say unto me, come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great hall that sitteth upon many waters too, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have made drunk, have been made drunk with the wine of a fornication. Spiritually, this is what is good. That is why it's a mystery here. Spiritual Sodan Gomorrah, let's go there. So in this planet. There is a mystery, okay, and there is spiritual wickedness in the high places, and there is another world, another very strong world, knowing the deep things of serpents. We have done the abominations. We have also unveiled the mystery going on on earth, and the abominations going on on earth, and the deep things of Satan also going on on this planet earth. Revelation 2, 24. But unto you I say, but unto you I say, and unto the rest in thy Tara, as many as have not the, this doctrine, this doctrine, and which have not know the deep things of Satan, or they speak, I will put upon you none other burden. So there is deep things of Satan going on on earth. So now, now, let's take it now, Revelation 2 verses 20 through 23. Now listen, nevertheless, I have a few things against thee, because that sufferer, that sufferest, that woman, 
Jezebel. Jezebel necessarily is not a woman. It is simply what we are unveiling over here. Organization, opponent that is, you know, preventing the truth. Which called herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servant to commit fornication and to eat things, sacrifice unto idol. This is your idol worship. You know, when you are sacrificing to your God, as you are doing that unholy service, it is simply idolatry. 21. And I gave unto her, and I gave to her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. 22. Behold, I will cast her into the bed, and they, uh, to the, uh, into a bed, and them that commit idolatry with her, into great tribulation, and said they repent of their this 23, and I will kill her children with death, and all the congregations shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts, and I will give unto everyone of everyone accord every one of you according to your words 24. But unto the you know the rest over in the Daitara ministry, he said the you that does not know the deep things of serpent. So these are the deep, deep things of serpent. Sexual intercourse. Going on spiritual. It is the strongest abomination. Now Ephesians 6 chapter 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities. Against powers. Against rulers of the darkness of this world and get spiritual wickedness in the highest places. In the high places, there is spiritual wickedness going on. If you listen to part one, because I took a lot of reaction from the comment session, you can go and listen back to it, or you can also make your common research. This is what is going on. This is the spiritual wickedness in the highest places. Demon fully deities have this sexual intercourse with people. It is the abominations of the earth. It is the spiritual wickedness in the highest place. It is the mystery of iniquity. And it is also the mystery of the ungodly. Because this holy deity did not become so ungodly, so wayward, and so rebellious, and so self-centered, that they have to do the unimaginable thing. They are not meant to be, to be doing that. They should have just remained in their original state, which is which are angels. So we will do more. Why they lost over women? Why they do that? We we'll do that. If if not next Shabbat, then it will be next week Shabbat. Revelation eleven seven and eight. And when they shall have finished their testimony, and the beast that are sent at other bottomless pit, I shall uh, make war against them, and shall overcome them and kill them. It. And they shall, uh, and their dead bodies shall be lying. Oh no, no! And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of of the great city, which which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where they also crucify Adonai. What was going on in, in the Sodom and Gomorrah? It is says perversion. So what was also going on in Egypt? He said these are spiritual now. What was going on? Egypt always worship vagina. And who is the god of Egypt? Allah, the moon god. Ishmael, Haiga, Ega, Haiga, the, the daughter of Pharaoh. They always worship vagina. And that was why Abiyah struck the river Nile, where they normally masturbate. Every it is their ritual. It's also in the world history. They worship vagina. Spiritual. Says perversion. Let's quickly do the leftover parts. I'm running out of time. Luke chapter 4, verses 1 through 7, but I'm taking from 5 to 7. And the devil taking him up into the high mountain, showed him, showed unto him the kingdoms of the world in a, in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and whosoever I will, I give it. 7. If thou wilt fall down and worship me, all shall be thine. So what is he looking for? Worship. <laughs> this is your heart of worship. Whenever you break the royal law, you are having sexual intercourse with demons and you are worshiping him. This should have been your hiding place. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 11. Put on the whole armor of Yahuwah that ye may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. These are all his wise. His tricks. He's so subtle. 
If only you will put on the full armor of Yehuwah, that is you renouncing every work, works of flesh. By so doing, this is how you will be able, that is your legal right. This is how you will, be, you will be able to stand on your feet and talk to your enemy and fix your enemy. I said, now let's, in fact, like Samson, he said, let me die with my enemy. After they have deceived him and the seven lost come back again, the head grow back again. He said, now I'm ready to die with my enemy. Crucify his flesh, but the spirit was saved. Are you willing to do that? Put on the whole ammo? Thank you, Abba. Love you so much. Family, we are done. So if not next week, Shabbat, like this message is eating me up. I really want to pour it out. Then it should be next week, Shabbat. How to devoice him with these three witnesses from the royal law. So we are done for now. So take pick up your legal right. You still have the time to do that. Because his own legal right, it is you breaking the royal law. And when you break it, it will penetrate you. It will make you one with himself. He will bite you. He will pour his devilish poisonous gene inside of you. That is what he burn a passion for to do. But if you go extra mind, if you are so determined more than him, put on the whole armor of Yehovah, that is your legal right. The whole armor is from Genesis way down to Revelation. Your very divine protection. The words of fire that will surprise you. The secret place of the Most High. He can't do that rubbish anymore to you. Thank you, Abba. We love you so much. We are done, family.